Okay team, let's talk about paraeducators, okay? The aides that come to class, whether it's integrated or non-integrated, these people are so vital to your class. And in order to make them feel a part of the class, class, providing them with the lesson plans ahead of time, providing them with some um, roles and responsibilities. Maybe they do your intro, maybe they do your warm up. Whatever it is that you've done before and you've taught before, you can grab one of those aids and have them do it for you. Dr. Lauren Lieberman and I wrote this article and it's all about paraeducators. And within that article, there are forms that you can give your paraeducators ahead of time before even the school year starts if you have their names and you know who they are or even as the year starts to get rolling in September just giving them to them and saying hey here can you fill these out and it's amazing information that it's going to provide you with feedback about what they're comfortable with or not comfortable with what they enjoy doing what they don't enjoy doing so you know that if you've got a basketball lesson coming up you can grab that one para who said she played in high school and she misses it and she loves it and say hey would you mind re teaching this one portion of the basketball unit while I go set up something else. Beautiful. The other thing that aides can do is take assessment. There are some amazing ways to take assessment right now using Google Forms. That's going to be in another video that I have and uh, you could pick it right up on your phone, hand your phone to the aide and say, hey, I'm going to be throwing with Johnny. Um, we're going to be counting three out of five times. Go ahead and click through and I'm going to tell you exactly what to click and what I'm seeing. You can write some notes about what you're seeing at the end because it's great to get that feedback from somebody who's kind of outside of the assessment piece. Paraeducators really know the kids. They are with the kids all day long. They know these students. They know what what's making them tick that day. They know whether or not they should be staying away from another certain kid. You're not going to know that. These kiddos are just going to come in. You need to have that 30 second conversation with your paras. Whether it's 10 seconds here, 20 seconds there, 30 seconds there. Touch base with each and every one of them. Make them feel a part of your community and your classes will run so much more smoothly. I have more information and tips and tricks on that if you guys are interested. Please comment below. Please like, share, ring the bell, all the things. And I'm super happy to oblige. So I hope you like this video and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.